It is Wednesday, April 11th, 2012, and we are live right now at 7:12. I told you this is the beta test of InfoWars Nightly News. Developing it for television. We've already got TV folks that download the show and re-edit it and air it on some cable systems and satellite systems around the world, including England. And that's great because we're not even to that point yet. You know, I've given a directive to the crew that we've got to get on every night by 7 o'clock on time. Because I've seen your complaints that, man, sometimes it's 7 o'clock, sometimes it's 7.20. Get the show on on time. The problem is so much stuff's breaking. Like the stupid, you know, Trayvon Martin distraction with the Zimmerman thing, that, that idiotic stuff. Or now they, you know, are giving him um, murder too or whatever. And they're going to blame the Second Amendment. I mean, all of this is happening. And, and then they shut down most of the city of Austin today for almost five hours because a police officer got shot last week by some Xanax head, guy with no criminal record out of his mind. Instead of talking about why this type of stuff is happening, uh, they're just busy seizing the city and grandstanding. And it turns out, that's, we're going to air this report coming up. We just taped before we went live here that they shut down major highways and went the opposite direction of where he was being buried just to shut the city down. There's the route that they uh, took, 25 miles or so from Round Rock down to South Austin, another 20 or so miles west. And then they turned north like 50, 60 miles to San Angelo. When if you look at the map from Google or MapQuest, they're already in North Austin. They just go straight over on big, nice roads right there to where they bury him. I mean, and they said, hey, you know what? There's going to be big traffic jams. That's the way it is a few days ago. They did it on purpose to be the whole center of attention and to carry out this big public relations stunt. And for me, that's really incredible. In fact, now I didn't make those points at the beginning of their video. Hey, do you're in there right now. I know we're live, but is there any way to like capture what I'm saying live and then edit it into the main piece that millions will end up watching later on the web? Okay, do that, because, because, because I want to make this point. We'll let folks see. I'm, I, by the way, next phase, I may rig cameras in here with live 24-hour feeds, just so you can see what's going on behind the scenes. You can see the... Okay. All right, you're capturing now? Bottom line, here is the synopsis of this report you're about to see. This was a public relations stunt on the back of a dead police officer who is a hero who signed up to try to protect and serve. The government took their motorcade overall 70, 80, maybe even 100 miles, depending on how you look at it, south of Austin through the most busy streets there are, blocking the roads and shutting the city down with people with American flags and Mexican flags and the rest of it, took them south and then west, close to 100 miles total out of the way, Instead of going to San Angelo, which is northwest, you see, notice that's going south. And they just did this. And they said days before, there's going to be some traffic, but he deserves it. Okay, if that's the way to his funeral or to where he's being buried, but don't go from the funeral service to where he's being laid to rest and, and, and say, what's a route where we can totally shut things down? See, that's North Austin. And the route that MapQuest and Google shows is almost 100 miles different variants are 75 to 100 miles out of the way. They went south, show them that, way south, and then way around to block traffic. This is incredible. Talk about showing everybody who's boss and acting like, well, an officer got killed serving you, so we'll just shut the city down. And most people didn't even know this was happening. I heard talk radio going, shut up. So what if your kids aren't getting home? So what if you're lost or cars are breaking down in wrecks? Because people went crazy. So what of the busiest highway in the country uh, is shut down? Just get used to it. You hate the officer. And people waving American flags. This is America. It's not like the foreign enemy is the American people and you shut down traffic and show everybody who's boss. And the Austin police chief was reportedly saying, get used to it. You know, we'll shut traffic down if we want. Okay, why not just shut all traffic down when a cop gets killed? for like, say, six weeks, just shut all cars down, and our firstborn can be sacrificed, our child. We'll bring our firstborn down to the police station. You can beat their brains out with golf clubs, set it with tasers out on the highway somewhere, and, and we'll say, here's my child, kill them. And they'll just like, all right, boom, boom, boom. Well, that's a sacrifice for us. I mean, that's the level of absurdity here. How about have, for respect, 
circle the earth just for endlessly every cop that dies anywhere just have treaties where trains just go 24 7 with their body show respect send the body to houston during drive time block the highways send it to dallas block the highway san antonio it's like oh that's that cop got killed 20 years ago hold on the city shut down his 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 his, his car is coming here this is what the city of austin did was shut down the traffic for almost five hours here's our report and again, totally live here on air right now. Was that good? Will that work? Cut that in? Because I, I just don't think I was hardcore enough earlier. The more I think about the brazenness of don't let any crisis go to waste and how they do these stunts, I just, I just can't handle it anymore. I just cannot handle it anymore. Oh, yeah, we're doing it live, folks. No teleprompters here. And I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, I, you know what? I didn't even make this point. Can you capture again? I got another point I want to make. This is like endless. We're, I know we're live, folks. But we got a tape show we did right before we went live. I want to add this. Can you, can you tape this for people? I'm going to be honest with you, too, here in closing. I wasn't even going to cover this today, even though my wife was stuck in traffic, desperate to get our son for two hours, and I almost had to leave. Well, actually, I tried, and the highway was shut down. I couldn't. I just couldn't get to my son. To be technical, I tried to leave and do it, but couldn't. Don't like to admit I'm pathetic here because they shut the city down. And I came back and I said, oh, whatever, it's a dead police officer. You know, I'm sure that they didn't mean to. And then I started thinking, wait, the police chief was like, there's going to be traffic. He deserves it. If you're driving in the other side of the highway and see it, pull off in respect. And then I heard talk radio attacking people that were upset they couldn't get to their kids. And then I went, wait a minute, San Angelo's northwest of Austin. And I said, go to MapQuest, go to Google. And I was like, it's 70 to 100 miles out of the way. There's the route MapQuest gives you. Why did they do that? And it was a huge PSYOP. That's the point is... They chose to shut the city down to grandstand and say, look at us. I mean, talk about drama queening. I mean, now anytime a cop gets killed, are they just going to shut everything down? Like, like, like we did it? Like, like it's our fault? A hundred and something years ago, there weren't even cops in this country, except for folks to go after fugitives. Once they'd done something, citizens dealt with it. I mean, I'm sick of it, and I'm sad the cops did. They don't talk about the guy that killed him was hopped up on psychotropic drugs, this scourge of death. You know, the guy kills 18 kids over there in Afghanistan. You going to talk about that? No, no, no. You don't care about the cops either. Their pension fund, their dollars being devalued. They're drinking sodium fluoride. When they die of cancer from all this stuff, nobody cares. Yeah, that's the rest of the story. All right, that's it. Yeah, there's the... Uh, I mean, there's this epidemic of psychotropic drugs. 110,000 U.S. troops are now on these. And in the insert, it admits it causes people to go haywire and kill people. And they'll just use that to take our guns here domestically when troops go crazy and blame the rest of our military heroes for it. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm sick of it. Okay. At this rate, we'll be airing the show we taped earlier about tomorrow night when I get on air. I'm like, prime directive, we go on air at 7, whether we're live or it's a tape show or there's no show anymore. I've had people on the street complain to me repeatedly last weekend, two different people, that I love the show, but can you get it on at 7, Bubba? And I get in here and I'm like, this is the way it is. And then I get in here, I'm like, 20 minutes for the show, I'm like, no, we're not covering the motorcade thing. Whatever, if they want to shut things down, whatever, I understand. Wait a minute, that town's northwest of here. <laughs> so they go southwest? <laughs> I mean, imagine the church they pick is right up in North Austin, right by the toll road, and then right by the big tech highway that goes right there with no traffic. And still take an hour to get there. And they're like, no, let's shut the entire city down for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, wait, wait, grab all the graphics, get them, get them. <laughs> oh, my God. 
And I even had a fight with my wife today. That never happens. Not really a fight, but she's like, I'm stuck in traffic. I didn't want to call and buggy. I know you're working, but we've been here 45 minutes. The car's not moving. The car's long gas. I can't get a hold of the people there. I don't know about our son. I'm like, it's all right, baby. I'll get in the car and go get him. <laughs> this is on the other side of Austin. I pull out. I hit the highway. And guess what it is? Because it's a chain reaction. The highway is not moving. I can't get to my son. But again, sacrifice the firstborn to it. I mean, this is like the emperor of the galaxy came to I mean, presidential things aren't this big. And, and, and is it really respect to this fallen police officer to shut down the city for almost five hours? And, and by the way, I was watching right before we went on air. They're still out there in the middle of the Texas Hill Country with hundreds and hundreds of police cars from other jurisdictions on taxpayer money. Don't worry, they'll write you some tickets when they pull you over. That's why they're hyping the fear, even though cops have a safer job than firefighters or even, even highway workers. It's all about pulling over the average citizen and we're the scum and taser that old woman, arrest them. They killed our officer. It's about this sacrament. We finally, after a couple decades, got a cop killed. Milk the hell out of it. Milk it right now. Milky milk. Trace of leches. Milk it now, milk it again, and milk it later. And then milk, milk, milk. Oh, man, I have seen it all now. We've got a big newscast coming up for you tonight, but uh, I'll be honest right now. Hey, will you guys get Aaron to get me a glass of water? I know you're all busy punching buttons. But I'm flat out of uh, flat out of water here. Alex, you're just anti-police officer. What's wrong with shutting down a city for almost five hours so people can't get their kids? After all, they told you the day before the route. You ought to know better, you un-American trash. Since since when is when a cop gets killed, you wave American flags and it's like America. What they mean is they back the fascist takeover of this country. What they mean is they back Goldman Sachs that runs our police and our military, at least on the surface. That's what all the, my wife's like, why are there American flags? This is America. And why are there Mexican flags? Well, the guy's Hispanic, so he must be Mexican because there's nobody Hispanic who isn't Mexican. I, 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 mean, I, I mean, that's the way this works, and it's like a fascist country. If you studied history, it's any excuse to come out and just, officer, you got killed, we're so sorry. Those people don't give a damn. They're all probably on welfare or getting food stamps and just want to go grandstand and help shut down traffic. So I guess the new fair, we don't, many cities have canceled their 4th of July things because it costs too much and is a carbon footprint, you know, puts out gases that are bad for the earth, they say. So the, now the new thing is just, sh we're going to shut down the city.